serious what are some of the biggest mistakes people can make in their 20s? Attention. Serious tag notice. Jokes, puns, and off-topic comments are not permitted in any comment. Parent or child. Parent comments that aren't from the target group will be removed, along with their child replies. Report comments that violate these rules. Posts that have few relevant answers within the first hour, and posts that are not appropriate for the serious tag will be removed. Consider doing an AMA request instead. Thanks for your cooperation and enjoy the discussion. I'm a bot, and this action was performed automatically. Please contact the moderators of this subreddit slash message slash compose slash to slash r slash us credit if you have any questions or concerns. Not brushing your teeth. When my father passed away, I slept away each night without taking care of myself. I've had so many root canals, removals, and pain because of it and it only hurts what little self-image I have of myself. When your teeth go, you smile less and hate yourself a little more every day. It just takes so much away from you. Please, please take care of those chompers. Edit. Thank you, everyone. I wish you all kindness and love. Take care of yourselves. 3. Man this is one I keep seeing and agreeing with. I started dipping when I was 16. Now I'm older and I brush my teeth 3 times a day and use mouthwash and my gums still get swollen and still bleed and still hurt sometimes. It's ridiculous. Take care of your mouth. It's not worth it. And I'm still trying to kick the habit. Kids seriously. We aren't lying when we say this. Not taking advantage of your greatest asset, time. When I was talking with an older friend who was very well off, millionaire, I jokingly said, I'll trade you my age for your money. And his reply has always stuck with me. He said, I can do more with your time than you can do with my money. I didn't take it as an insult, but as motivation to make the most of my time and not waste it. Well that's a quote to remember. Not wearing hearing protection in loud situations. The tinnitus is real. Man. M-A-W-P. Weekend gigging musician here. Please for the love of God protect your hearing. I can't hear half as well as I used to, and I've been playing music of all kinds for most of my life. I thought I was too cool for earplugs, and I've only just now started being proactive about it. I'm 26. Tinnitus is not f peeping cool. To other musicians, in-ear monitors can help reduce hearing loss. Use them as much as possible. <sighs> Heavy drinking. You can waste away years of your life like this, thinking you're just partying. A good friend of mine recently came to terms with his alcoholism. Getting blackout drunk every week for nearly a decade is not normal. Edit. It's pretty incredible hearing everyone's stories. I'm sorry I can't reply to all of you. But I promise I have slash will read every single one. As for my friend, he isn't exactly getting blackout drunk every week, but he's not doing great. He has admitted his problems, but so far hasn't done anything to slow his drinking. He recently moved across the country so there is little I can do. But these stories have definitely encouraged me to encourage him to seek help. Not normal, but definitely not frowned upon in college. It's a toxic environment in some colleges. Come Thursday night, if you're not out with friends having some drinks, it just seems weird and awkward. Get loans. Credit cards that they can't fully pay off. Spend more money than you truly have or make. I did all that. Now I'm punished by my own poor mistakes of trying to spend money with PPL who make way more. I got 2 to 3 more years and am paid off. Never try and keep up with the geniuses. <sighs> Having children by the wrong person. Tip. If someone has multiple children with different exes, and do not have any sort of custody of any of them due to them being taken away, or have multiple kids that they refuse to spend any time with despite having a custody agreement in place, they're probably not going to magically change into an amazing parent for the baby that you want to have with them. I have acquaintances who do not seem to be able to grasp this concept. Well yeah. He doesn't spend time with his 5 kids or pay child support. All of his exes are psycho bitches. He's excited to start over with me and our baby and be a family again. And then, 8 months later and 7 months pregnant, 
This asshole just left me for a 22 year old that he got pregnant and left the state so the courts can't find him and charge him child support. I never thought he'd do this to me. Yes, there's always that one exception of someone who was unfairly treated by the courts or has truly changed and is now a better person. But in general, just don't do it. This reminds me of when I first joined the Navy. I was 26 college dropout. While most people join at 18 or 19 right out of high school, so I had at least a little perspective. People were told all the time, starting in boot camp, that people they had only just met would try to marry them. Some people want the health care, some want an income from a spouse who's away for months at a time, and some know that the Navy will enforce alimony slash child support possibly for a six month baby. All of them will try to talk you into signing a power of attorney. So what do a bunch of them do? Go out and date a stripper for two weeks. Then propose. Oh no. We love each other. I know all those stories. But we are different. Six months later. Nope. Turns out they are exactly the same. See also. Financing a V6 Mustang at Usiris interest rates talking 1150 slash month on 1200 take home. That's 50 slash month for gas. I'm golden. Marrying the wrong person. Not getting a routine of a healthy lifestyle. When older people say it gets a lot harder when you're older, they mean it. But, you can always start treating your body better at any age. Don't throw in the towel because you're older. Don't make excuses. Make goals. Exactly this. Even today my wife and I have goals around hiking, backpacking, powerlifting, archery, climbing etc. We didn't start this until our early 30s and haven't stopped yet. Our goals keep getting a little more brave and it feels awesome. Not wearing sunscreen. Seriously people wear sunscreen. Getting sunburned just once can triple your risk of melanoma later in life. I work with a lot of older hippies, construction workers, landscapers and arborists and a lot of them have skin cancer and they all really wish they had worn sunscreen. Listen to Baz Luhrmann and wear sunscreen. If you're concerned about certain chemicals in sunscreen there's always alternatives. Also look into Korean sunscreens. They have amazing sunscreens that go on smooth just like lotion and don't leave you sticky or contain some of the harsh chemicals in American sunscreens. Make it a part of your daily routine and you'll appreciate it later in life. Any chance you could link to a good Korean sunscreen? Ginger guy here. I could use a helping hand. I don't like regular sunscreens that much for the reasons you mentioned. Edit. Thank you everyone for your awesome replies. Going to check all these suggestions and hopefully make some purchases for my travels this summer. Super pale Irish gal. Favorite Korean sun cream. For the majority of my friends in high school it was trying heroin, after experimenting with pills. Since then six have died, and the rest are either struggling with their addiction, or have completely ruined their lives. Edit. This is central slash eastern Kentucky. Damn man. I feel sorry for that. It's crazy too. I remember when people started experimenting with it, after they got bored with weed. Only one of my addict friend got their speep together, after it was all said and done. I had a raging coke habit. Moving 20 miles from all my friends and my dealer fixed that, and I was kind of forced into that by other unrelated things. I almost odd, and had a heart attack on it. My heart rate was 190 sitting still. We think we are invincible when we are young, but we are really not. I flushed about 1000 of coke down the toilet that night 4 years ago and never touched it again. Peep cocaine. I spent 4 days in the hospital after I called an ambulance for myself. I'd taken a gram of molly when I still had cocaine in my system and ended up having a heart attack. It's definitely a wake up call. Don't waste time being self conscious. Don't waste time on negative people slash relationships slash interpersonal dramas. Use this time for personal development. Get good at things you enjoy. Be friends with people who make you happy. Do interesting speep. Literally no one, ever, 
has looked back and been pleased that they spent six months embroiled in rumored drama. You're not going to hopefully be regaling the bar with how that bitch Cheryl bleached your towels in six years. It doesn't f peeping matter. No one has ever been super jazzed that they nitpicked their own appearance for seven years and consequently couldn't enjoy themselves because they were pulling at their clothing. I'm not talking about self-improvement. I'm talking about being really unhappy with yourself for the sake of being really unhappy with yourself. Stop doing that. You're fine. If your relationship involves screaming, drunken screaming, the silent treatment, weird subterfuge, or general nastiness, and I could make an endless list of bullspeak behavior leave that relationship. You are going to outgrow friendships. Other people are going to outgrow your friendship. This is normal. It's not an indictment of you as a person. It can be painful. Handle it with grace. And always. Think before you react. Always be your own devil's advocate. Think about others. Think about how you sound when dealing with conflict. Being a stable person is partially an acquired skill. Learn it. That friendship part is so dead on. This whole reply is dead on. Taking your loved ones and your health for granted. Spending too much it's important to start getting into the habit of saving now. Though if you like to travel, do some traveling now when you're young and in good health. But travel frugally and safely. Being too afraid to take chances. Not thinking about what truly matters to you temporary slash instant gratification vs long term gratification. What you would have wanted to experience slash achieve if your life expectancy is cut short. Buying vehicles they can barely afford. Not realizing that the really nice cars also usually have really high insurance rates. I saw this happen to some friends in my late teens slash early 20s. I have a friend that decided to go out and get a used Infiniti G37 coupe because it looked cool. One day he starts asking me how much I pay for insurance on my car. I ask him why he's curious and it turns out that he's paying almost 300 a month on insurance alone. And his car payment is around 350 for a 5 year loan. He was paying almost 700 a month for a 20k car. EDT. Loan not a lease. Come to Toronto a 21 year old will be getting 300 a month on a Corolla. Coasting on their potential. It's easy to put off actually doing anything while you're still basking in the glory of being the smart kid at school or university. But then all of a sudden you're 29 and there are celebrities younger than you and you find yourself wondering where to even get started. If you want something, the time to start working towards it is while you're young and hungry. People used to tell me all the time that I had so much potential then one day I noticed I didn't hear it anymore. Potential isn't worth a damn thing unless you do something with it.